The early details that have emerged about Thomas Matthew Crooks, who was shot dead by law enforcement, show a young man working an entry-level job near his hometown in Pennsylvania, where he graduated from high school in 2022 with a reputation as a bright but quiet classmate. What is unique about Crooks when compared to other recent shooters who opened fire at schools, churches, malls, and parades, is that he came within inches of killing a presidential candidate. Saturday afternoon, Crooks slipped into a rooftop location 150 yards, 140 meters, from the stage where Trump was speaking in Butler, Pennsylvania. He then began firing an AR-15-style semi-automatic rifle, purchased by his father, authorities said. Two years ago, Crooks graduated from the local high school, where received a $500 star award from the National Math and Science Initiative. While there, he did not show any particular interest in politics, according to a classmate, who asked not to be identified. Rather, his interests centered on building computers and playing games. E. Crooks often kept to himself, the classmate said, and politics never came up. Their conversations revolved around school, the classmate said. He was super smart. That's what really kind of threw me off was this was like a really, really smart kid. Like he excelled, the classmate said, nothing crazy ever came up in any conversation. Computers was not able to identify social media accounts or other online postings by the gun an AR-style 556 rifle had been legally bought, FBI officials said, adding that they believed it had been purchased by the suspect's father. The officials said a suspicious device was found in the suspect's vehicle, which was inspected by bomb technicians and rendered safe. While mass shootings at schools, nightclubs and other public places are common in the United States. The attack was the first shooting of a U.S. president or major party presidential candidate since the 1981 attempted assassination of Republican President Ronald Reagan. Crooks donated $15 to a Democratic Political Action Committee when he was 17. At the time of the shooting, he was employed as a dietary aide at a nursing home. The Bethel Park Skilled Nursing and Rehabilitation Center said Crooks performed his job without concern and his background check was There is no place in America for this kind of violence, Biden said at the White House. I urge everyone, everyone please don't make assumptions about his motive or affiliations. Trump is leading in an election rematch, according to most opinion polls. Two weeks after Biden's debate nightmare, more than 15 Democratic lawmakers have gone out on a limb and called publicly for a president they've long supported. To Many more kept their newfound alarm about Biden semi-private. Mega donors froze, wondering if they were plowing fortunes into a lost cause.